Hi, I'm tinkering with Home Assistant. No, it's not Sunday. It's Tinker Tuesday or Tech Tuesday or you choose whichever one you want. But I just wanted to share with this with you. Look at this, look at this. Ha, how cool. Today's electricity price. Tomorrow's electricity price. Oh, yeah. I got it working. I want to show you what I did. If you're in one of the countries, for example, in the Nordics, where you are on the uh, market plan for electricity, so we've recently switched from the fixed price to the market price, and we're starting to think a little bit about how we can use machines in the house at different times of the day to take advantage of the cheaper electricity price. And so, of course, Yenny said to me last night, I want to know what the electricity price is, and I don't want to have to keep asking you. Well, when you get the chance to make Home Assistant do something that impresses the wife, you have to take that opportunity. So this is what I've done. Now, Nordpool is a website that has a all the market data are there available. So the current day's pricing, the next day's pricing, and here you can see the values for Finland, hourly rate, euros per megawatt hours. In the chart, I'm showing cents per kilowatt hour. I'll show you how you can set that up as well. And in the description, I'll put links to all of the sites I'm showing you here so that you can also Go and explore and read and figure out how to put this together for yourself. But I am so stoked. This is my first custom made card in Home Assistant. And this is quite, uh, well, I'm just happy with it. It looks cool. Nothing like a fancy charm. So the great community of Home Assistant, smart people creating things like custom components. Here is one already created for Nordpool. So what did it mean? It mean that I just went into hacks, went to integrations, and I just needed to search for this project. So this, this custom component. So there it is, uh, Nordpool sensor for Home Assistant. And it really is as easy as that. I didn't need to do any manual installation, but once you have that component installed, then you do need to make an adjustment to your configuration YAML file. So I'll show you mine, and but basically the details are right here. There is one value in here that I found somewhere else in another forum, in another uh, sample configuration file that someone had set up, and that is how to display sense because that's more meaningful for Finland when you're looking at, uh, you want Euro cents per kilowatt hour. It's much more meaningful to see it as you know, 8.2 cents per kilowatt hour. But anyway, let me show you. So if I jump to my configuration file, uh, go and jump into, there it is. Great. So as you can see down here, I have set up the Nordpool sensor for electricity prices. And then for me, I want to see the price without VAT. I want to see it in euros. This is the value you want to include if you want to see it in cents. Price in cents, set it to true. That works. Uh, you can also, well, specify the region, what sort of precision, so how many point of a cent you want to show. And then here you can see, you can set it to megawatts or watt hours and kilowatt hours is, is nice. So there it is. You can also add, for example, transfer costs. So if there's additional sort of tariff on that electricity, so your electricity supplier then of course charges to get the power to you. So I'm gonna play with this a little bit later on and that's where you'll be able to add in these additional costs and that'll show up in the graph. But this is it. So back to the website, you know, you can just cut and paste this and then adjust the values that are relevant for you. And then you're already on your way to having that sensor show up in your Home Assistant. So once I then did a restart of Home Assistant, it already showed up this sensor and you could see here the data and you could see it updated 52 minutes ago and it's got all the details here of current price, average off peak prices, min max, etc, etc. And it's then got a breakdown of all the prices per hour for today and tomorrow. So already it's working. So once you've taken that first step and you put in that Nordpool component, 
it's all going to work and you you can just call it a day and be happy with that but if you want to go the extra mile and start to put the chart in place then you're going to want to install a thing called apex charts card and again link in description now for me I actually installed this one manually. I tried to install it via hacks. For some reason, it wasn't working for me. I couldn't find it or I was just a bit of a newbie clicking something wrong. But I went ahead and did the manual install. That was extremely easy. So I downloaded the file, the uh, Apex Charts card file and installed it into config directory. So what does that mean? It means I went into, on my home assistant, I'm shared uh, the folder here so uh, into config into w's into apex charts card then what you need to do though is you need to tell home assistant to use that resource again the instructions are here so you're adding this information which resources you need to put this in your configuration yaml so let me show you what that looks like if i scroll up you can see here for the Lovelace dashboards UI, I'm managing them via YAML. So there's another YAML file that I have all of the um, user interface cards built with. And here you can see I'm putting in this line resources. That's where the file is and it's a module. Now, how to build the chart? Well, there's nothing like searching the web with the right keywords and then boom, you hit the right one. So this was a question where someone was trying to understand how they can get a whole bunch of prices into one graph. So 48 price values. So that would be the two days into a single graph. Now, while someone was answering that, here's the answer they came up with. And they said that very simple, beautiful solution. Uh, Apex Chance Card plugin, and then they showed a sample of what they had set up in their configuration. Bit of cut and paste, change a few words here and there, and I then in my UI Lovelace YAML file have this. So, first card, it has today's electricity price, cents per kilowatt, show the card, uh, and show the sensor and then the data generator values here this was a straight cut and paste and just you know, localized from uh, norwegian to english uh, with the with the title really <laughs> that's all i did uh, i'm gonna play around with this a little bit more but once uh, i saved this into the lovelace yaml file and i went and hit refresh voila it all just worked so that is it if you want to create one of these and data from NordPool is useful for you, I hope this video helps you. Uh, it feels so easy now, having done it and just to talk through it. So good luck. I'll be back again on Sunday with more Home Assistant and who knows, maybe next Tuesday as well. This tinkering is starting to get quite fun and rather interesting. So for now, bye. I'll be back here tomorrow, but try and do some renovation. Maybe I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.